area model for division with a three digit divisor with a remainder. So, this is the number we have, and we're going to have a remainder left over, and I did that on purpose to show you what we do with the remainder. So, the first thing we're going to do is ask ourselves how many times can 145 go into 3? Oh, it can't. 35? Nope. Can it go into 353? It certainly can. So, I'm going to draw a line here because that's the number we're going to be going into. So how many times can 145 go into 353? Well, I know it rounds to 150, and 150 and 150 is 300, but let's double check. Five times two is 10, carry the one, put the zero down. Two times four is eight, nine. So that's 290 if we do it times 2. Can we fit another one? You want to see? We might be able to use this in the future anyway. Okay, so if we times it by 3, it's 435. So we're going to go with the 2. And it's going to go above this 3 because that's the number, the 353, that we're putting it in. Okay? And we know that it's 290, right? Okay, so now we're not going to use this 10 so it drops down. Both digits drop down, okay? 3 take away 0 is 3. 5 take away 9 can't do it, got to borrow from this guy. He becomes a 2, that becomes a 15. 15 take away 9 is, you know, it's 6. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6. Okay? So now we've got this new number. It's going to go into a new box. We're going to put it inside. And we're going to ask ourselves, can 145 go into 6 or 63? Nope. Can it go into 631? Yeah, it can. So this is the number we're going to be putting it into. And this 0 is going to drop down, isn't it? Okay, so how many times can 145 go into 631? Well, we were doing some math over here, and 145 times 3 is 435. We're trying to get into 631, though. Let's try one more time. 145 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 4 is 16. 17, 18. 4, 5. Ooh, 580. 580 is close. And that's times 4, okay? So we're going to put the 4 above the 1, all right? And we're going to put the 580 in here. And we're going to do our subtraction. 1 take away none is 1. 3 take away 8 can't do it, so we're going to have to borrow. 13, take away 8, is what? 5, right? So now we've got 510 left over. So now we need to make another box. And the 510 goes into that box. And we say, how many times can 145 go into 510? Well, we've got our math here from before. So... 510, looks like we're going to have to go with 3. So 145 goes into 510 three times, and it is 435. So now we can do our subtraction, right? Can you have 0 and take 5 away? Nope. So we got to cross this out. It becomes a 0, and the 0 becomes a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5. 0 take away 3 can't do it, so that becomes a 4, and that becomes a 10. 10 take away 3 is 7. So now we have 145, and there's a 75 there. That's our remainder. This 75 is going to go up here. 
We're going to draw a line and we're going to put the 145 below it. Because when you have remainders, this is actually the numerator and that's the denominator in a fraction. See that? Now if you want to, you could just put an R and say remainder 75. But it's actually a fraction, 75 over 145. And it's kind of flipped because this one is lower and that one's higher. You flip it around and put this one high and that one low because that's the numerator and that's the denominator. So you've actually got, look, 243, because you just picked the numbers right off, 243 in a row, and 75 one forty-fifths. See? And if you know your fractions, you know that the 75 one forty-fifths can be made a little bit smaller, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But that would be or remainder 75. Either way. Either way would be the right way to do this one. I hope this helps. See you next time.